Let's check it out. Oh wow, that's like strangely high def. Welcome to Britannia. Congratulate you on the fine choice of strapping a sapling and a book together. Um, no. Or just finding this tome in a chest, whichever applies. Well, thank you. You can navigate this book using the arrows at the bottom of this page, your mouse wheel, or the arrow keys on your keyboard. Huh. Show note. Write notes. Oh, I can make notes. Alright, despite its looks, Batania is in essence a tech mod. Doesn't sound like it. But by definition of requiring you to put to use ingenuity, thought, and redstone to create and progress. It's good to keep that in mind. Of course, you'll also be rewarded with cool toys, blocks, and equipment if you're worried. I kind of was. For all intents and purposes, Botania is a mod that anybody who likes to play the game with the primary purpose of building cool things will likely enjoy. It's designed to be fully playable standalone, but is also playable with other mods. That's good, since there are 202 mods in this pack. Excluding a small few examples, everything in the mod is fully automatable using Minecraft and its own features exclusively. If you happen to find yourself lost, try checking out the mod's achievements or challenges, both of which can be found on the left-hand side of this book's main page. I missed that. Uh, this book is laid out in a friendly way with a good amount of handy features, so before you start jumping in and playing, take a bit of time to familiarize yourself with what the various tidbits around the place do. After this, you'll be taken to a page where you can optionally start a tutorial that will teach you the basics of the mod in around 10 minutes, give or take. However, it teaches you only the very basics, so after you've got a good foothold on those concepts, further research is a good idea. If you're unsure as to what you want to learn about, hold shift while browsing through the various categories to get a quick idea of what each thing is. The lexicon index category can be very helpful in searching, for searching as it contains every entry in the book in one place. And that's it for this introduction. You can move on to the tutorial now. I hope you enjoy playing with Britannia as much as I enjoy making it. Bazki, the mod author. Carry on by pressing the back button on the bottom of your right mouse button or back space key. Oh, red. Yeah, nice. Um, red. Blood Moon is over. So we run outside and see if there's a loot to collect. What? String. Oh, lots of papers. Well, just two. I killed them both. There are a few zombies who have helmets on. We're not burning up in the sun. So we killed them. Spiders. Ah! Wow. Okay. That creeper is a teleportation creeper. I died. That was so weird. Like, he blew up? A mystical creature shooting fireballs. That's probably the blaze. Okay, then it's probably a... a elemental. Hmm. Maybe I can get it to focus on me and you can kill it? Alright. Focused on me, go kill it. Oh. Poisoned me. Mean. Alright, great. And my stuff is down in here. Oh my gosh.
All right, let's blow up. No. Just because I'm wandering around trying to get other stuff. No, it's over in the pool. Next to the garden? Yes, next to the garden. In here, where these skeletrons and um, the zombie is. Hey, hey, look at me. That's nice. Knock him out of the water. Oh, I'm dead again. Alright. The only one gravestone, I guess? Oh no, it's under the water. I see it. I don't think I did. I'm also going to get rid of those two death points. Because they are annoying. I'm down on you. But I can't hit you. No fair. You can hit me, but I can't hit you. There's a skeleton behind our um, tower here that, that I can't attack. Yeah, but he can hit me. Doesn't seem that well, seems a little unfair. Hm, I have a rib bone. Smells very. You see what I'm saying, though? Like, just do it on the back wall right there. Yeah, it's only three wide. And then it'll just go out the back, you know what I mean? Oh. Like, break this down there. Yeah. Right.
So go ahead and do the three. You can do the three by three. So like the, the first nine blocks would go right there to create the base. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know we can move one more inside. Maybe. Nah, that'll be good. Um, and then you put the control, like the outside blocks, these three, and then same with like three here, and then three here. Like yeah. Um, but one of them needs to be the controller and one needs to be the tank. Uh, yeah, but you don't want to do that because we're going to want to have the spouts, like the outputs there. Yeah, that's that's awesome. The tank similarly also needs to be accessible, so maybe here. I don't think it has to be adjacent to the controller, but I'm not sure. Then the rest of these spots just need to be filled in. Yeah. Whoops. You need to do these three in front of you. Right here. Or just make sure, I'm just saying, just make sure you have enough for those. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't think it's working. Usually it starts, it, um, like the smeltery lights up. Maybe it does have to be adjacent. Maybe. Uh, we could try it on top of it. It might work. The controller or the tank? The tank. No, it's still not lighting up. Okay, so. Yeah, that's a drag. All right, well, I guess we can put the outputs here and then over on the other side. Like it at the second level would be best so that it drains down into like a basin or a table. So, this is a drain that we don't have? Uh, yes, and then you need a faucet uh, to go on the drain. You got it. Nice. Alright, for now, we'll 